What's up guys, More Medic one here, and good morning, and how is everybody doing? Today, we have a steel blower on the bench, and the issue is the plastic screw that holds the two halves together is just stripped out. I'm gonna be using what we call a Gila coil. This is the brand of it, but it was sold by Napa. And there's the part number if you're at a Napa store, 770-3090 for the metric five by 0 0.8 pitch threads. You'll need a 13 64th drill bit and everything comes in the kit. Uh, the drill bit comes in the kit, the inserts, of course it doesn't come with the sockets but let's get this unsheathed here and see what we can come up with. Now, the first thing I wanna do, as you can tell, here's the two halves. I'm going to need to cut this hole slightly bigger than the receiving hole. So I'm going to cut this hole to a quarter inch but we're not going to drill all the way through. We just want this piece at a quarter inch. Now what that's gonna do, that's going to allow the helicoil tap to pass through this piece without having to start threads in this piece. So we just wanna cut it enough to where the uh, the tap will slide past that and so we can get into the meat of where we are trying to uh, make our threads for the helicoil. Now we're going to take our 13 64ths and we're going to drill out this portion Ooh, that's a little shaky. Sorry about that. Obviously, we're not going to be able to reuse the uh, plastic or plastite screw that originally came. So we're going to have to find us a screw that uh, is pretty close to the same length. That one's too long. This one's gonna be just about right. As you can tell, the girth of the screw is gonna be bigger. Like I said, I'm going with a five millimeter. And here is the insert that we are going to be installing right here. That is going to take the place of the threads that are stripped out inside the blower. All right, so we're gonna start making our threads with the supply tap that comes in the kit. Now, trying to thread plastic is a different animal than threading metal as the plastic wants to kind of ball up on your tap. And I like to back it out and just clear the chips. And we're gonna tap it, even though it's a blind hole. Let's go ahead and tap it until she stops. You'll feel it. When it gets to the bottom of the hole, the tap won't go anymore. And that's where this plastic is kind of weird. It feels like it's not gonna stop tapping, but you need to feel and make sure you don't punch through the other side of this.
And as you can tell, we have the new threads ready to accept the helicoil. Now, the helicoil comes with an installation sleeve that you basically put the helicoil down in right here. And then you start cranking this in and it helps start the helicoil as you turn it. But I find this to be more cumbersome and it gets in the way. Let me show you how I do it. I like to start the helicoil right onto the tool and let it go all the way down until the tang catches on the tool itself. See how that catches that tang and makes it able to spin the helicoil. But let's go ahead and install this. So let's go ahead and start installing this helicoil. I'm going to turn it in until it stops. Just go slow. We're not in a hurry. And I believe we're there, right there. So now the tool should just back on out. Leaving the insert behind. Okay, our helicoil is installed and as you can tell, we now have steel threads in place of the strip threads. That's why I love helicoils, but we have one problem. We need to break the tang that you see right there sticking across and break it off. You can do it with a pick or you can do it with a super small screwdriver or a super thin pair of needle nose. Just bend and break that tang off. Now with everything together, we should just be able to install our screw. And it all be good to go and tighten up without any issues. <clears throat> yep, works great. Alrighty guys, if you have any questions on how to fix plastic or metal stripped threads with a helicoil, let me know. If this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, click the bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your Friday and have a good weekend. More Medic One. Catch y'all on the next one.